That's why. That's bugging me there. Give me one sec here, guys. I'll show you how smooth that goes on there. That was my fault. My fault. Alright. So there you go. I did design it so the back can, uh, the little batteries can hang um, on there real good. It doesn't get in the way of my fingers. My fingers still have a good grip on the controller. I don't have any issues with that. So not a problem. As you can see, the battery's holding up perfect. So I, uh, I got to give Hubson props. Uh, and we're going to leave this on the whole time so you guys can see that that doesn't affect it at all. Um, I got to give Hubson props because they thought of the user and the consumer and the person buying this thing uh, when they designed the newer version of the uh, controller here. Uh, I, I don't want to say version. It is because it's updated firmware. It actually has updated firmware. Uh, even the quad came with updated firmware, which was really nice, which fixed the stability lock with the GPS and stuff. But the fact that they thought of the user by installing the JST connector right into the back by the battery bay, big props to Hubson on that, okay? Um, <clears throat> let's move on to the next one here. The camera on this. I was actually really impressed by the camera on this quad. The 1080p camera is really, really good for video. Um, you know, even though it's a fixed camera and it's a little jerky, there's really no, like, um, runs in it at all. Like, it doesn't, not, you know, not like the cheaper quads do. The cheaper quads kind of have, like, blur effect and stuff. This does not have, uh, blur effect. It, it's very smooth and it looks good. So, can't, no, no complaints with the camera. The camera is actually a very decent. Um, another thing is, guys... Excellent telemetry. This is another pro here. This actually has really reliable telemetry. I was I was actually quite impressed by how good the telemetry was on this controller. Um, very surprising to me. Um, I am really happy with the layout of how this looks. It's very self-explanatory. There's not too much you really have to focus on. Um, I don't want to turn the controller off right now, guys, even though it's not armed or anything because it has nine satellites connected to it right now. So we're just going to go ahead and leave this on for the review. And like I said, it'll give you an opportunity to see the battery by the time that it hasn't even budged yet. Um, so, um, yeah, so telemetry is excellent. I couldn't be happier with the telemetry. Um, also, the follow me mode works pretty much flawlessly. It's really nice. Set it out at the distance and the altitude you want. Hit follow me. It automatically turns around to the controller and it starts to follow you. No no issues. Like works flawlessly. It's it's uh, actually pretty incredible. Um, let's see here. Perfect FPV flyer, guys. The only complaint I have with the FPV is that the uh, barometer likes to jump the altitude up and down if it's a windy day and you kind of have to calculate for that. But when it's in GPS stability mode and you're flying it, it's pretty easy to fly because it recovers most of the time by itself. There's really not much you have to do but just push forward and steer it. So uh, was I able to fly it with uh, FPV? Yes, I was. Like I said, guys, all this, all this uh, stuff I'm talking about is going to be, uh, all the links are going to be in the video description for all of this stuff. So be sure to check that out. I was able to fly it FPV worked great no real issues most of the time so um good price tag guys i gotta say definitely a pro it's it's i got this at uh, gearbest for 227 dollars and i could not be more happy with it it's 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 a very nice little drone okay pushing into hobby class it's it's nice um and it screams quality another pro it does scream quality um, just the look of it, the make, the feel, the weight of it, the battery, the, the controller, all of this feels like quality. Even though it's a Chinese quad, it feels like a quality built machine. Uh, very surprising. Uh, I was not expecting the feel of this or the look. It feels and looks great. So, no complaints there. Um, another thing is it's very quiet. It's not loud like its competitors, the Phantom and all the other ones. They're, those are very loud quads. This one is very quiet. It's, it's For being brushless motors, it does not make a whole lot of noise at all. It just kind of cuts through the air like butter, man. It's, it's really smooth. Very surprising. And I like that. I hate loud quads. So this is really nice. Um, another thing I want to talk about is the flight time. Even though it's a 10C battery, the flight time on this is 20 minutes as advertised, easily. 
Um, I hate buying cheap quads and you run into the fact that they say they're like 15 minutes, oh, it gets 15 minutes of flight time. And it doesn't. <laughs> that to me irritates the living hell out of me when they say stuff like that and it's not. This actually has 20 minute flight time. Very surprising. I am super happy with the flight time capability of this quad. So definitely a pro. Um, and it does have a good battery. The battery is very nice. It charges pretty quick, even on the standard charger. Within like an hour and a half, it's charged and ready for another 20 minute flight. So can't, can't even be mad. Um, I do want to talk about the bright LEDs. This has some very bright LEDs. Like, they're super bright. I, I'm very happy with the LEDs on this, uh, on this machine. Um, <clears throat> even when the compass is calibrated, this thing just, uh, you can see it right now, guys. It's, they're, they're very bright and they're very easy to see daytime or nighttime. So once again, another pro, definitely like it. Easy to keep orientation of the quad. Um, here's a big one that everybody's going to be wondering about the fail safes. How are the fail safes? Well, let's talk about that. I took this out about 500 meters away from the controller in a big field and I went ahead and just shut off the controller and in about four and a half minutes it was back. I took a chance and it came right back with no issues. I also notice if I go out of range sometimes it automatically goes into RTH when it doesn't after like a certain period of time it doesn't sense that the controller is connected anymore it'll automatically go into return to home as a failsafe. Works flawlessly, no issues. Even the return to home switch works perfectly okay so the fail safes work great I have had no issues with the fail safes they are working very good um, another thing I want to talk about here as a pro is that it connects to FPV monitors your majority of FPV monitors 5.8 live monitors work with this including this awesome little thing that I will put a link below for which is the G Tang watch it has 32 channels built into the bottom of it and uh, it gets about uh, I think it was 500 meters of range. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on so you guys can see it. It will connect to the quad. There you go. As you can see, if I move the quad, you can see that it's moving on there. Um, this is very nice. I'm going to see if I can move it closer so you guys can see that. Uh, the quality of this is amazing. And it even shows some of the stuff that it offers you on the screen for the camera. It shows the record time. shows you the TF is connected. But a reason to buy this would be if you were using follow me mode. You could throw the controller in the backpack and flip this on your wrist and while you're riding your bike or doing whatever it is you're doing skateboarding, you can look down and make sure it's still following you. Um, this was like $31. This was very cheap and it's very well made and it works flawlessly. Antenna bends, it does everything. You can put the antenna away if you want to. If you're using it for close range, no reason to have the antenna out. You can put the antenna away, but this thing works great and it works with the most. I have a couple other FPV monitors here. Uh, that camera on the quad connects to those as well. So this is the G Tang uh, FPV watch. Great for maybe FPV races. Like let's say you're watching your buddy at a races and you want to tune into his quad, you can do that. And then you can sit right in the stands without having to bring a whole monitoring station and just watch his FPV race right on your wrist. So pretty nice, man. I love it for the follow me mode, it works great. Go ahead and shut that off here. We're going to keep moving on here, guys. Um, yeah, that is that is basically what I wanted to talk about with the pros. Um, do I think this is a good quad for the average user, for average people that are going to be playing with this product? Uh, even, even people that are hobbyists already that have big expensive drones, this is a great backpack quad to take anywhere and have amazing range. Excellent FPV, good telemetry, good camera, all of that wonderfulness. It has those capabilities. So this is like the perfect little quad for your average user or even hobbyist that doesn't want to lug around their Phantom. Whatever. All right. This is the disappointing part here, guys. We are now entering into the cons, okay? And I don't have many, but I do have a few. And Hubson, if you're listening, pay attention, okay? The fixed camera on the front of this, yes, it's a good camera, 
but I would love to see stabilization on the camera, self-stabilizing camera, like a Bebop or something like that installed in this would make this a much better selling point, and I'm sure it wouldn't be very expensive to do that to this quad. So Hubson, if you're listening, a self-stabilizing front-facing camera would be amazing. It sucks that it can't because you catch every jerky motion that happens. So, kind of a downfall. That is definitely a con for me. Another one is, this comes with a SD card slot in the side of it right there. And, Hubson, if you're listening, I would love to be able to stick an SD card in here and record, record the screen and the telemetry of the flight. The fact that the SD card slot on the side doesn't work is very disappointing to me. Okay, and I'm sure it's going to be disappointing to a lot of other people who are trying to prove how far they went without having to hold the camera over their screen. Okay, or if they lose the quad, they still have the footage. Big disappointment for me. Not throw it out the window yet, but big disappointment. All right, the long range controller modification is $5.28 on eBay. I would love to see that come with the standard controller. Guys, if it's only costing $5.28 for the whole long range mod kit, I can't see it killing you to install it and just have it come with the standard package. Big downfall. Big one. I would just, I, I'm not saying that it's a problem that it doesn't. I'm saying it's an inconvenience to the person buying it because I'm sure they don't want to have to wait a month and a half for some Chinese supplier to send them their antennas. It would be really nice for the extra $5 to either just have that kit come with it and you make the decision whether you want to install it as opposed to me having to go out and buy it and wait another month after my quad already comes in to decide that I need it. Downfall. F FAA registration. Yes, guys, this does require an FAA registration. It breaks the weight limit. Um, you're going to have to register it. It's not expensive. It's only $5, but now it limits you to 16 years of age or older. So for you youngsters thinking about buying this, you will have to have an adult register it, and they will have to be present with you during the flights. Okay? Big downfall, definitely a con. Not mad because I'm a hobbyist and I agree with, you know, age restrictions and age limits and needing to do certain things, but it's got to be registered by an adult, okay? Or someone 16 years of age. <coughs> Here's another big disappointment for me the micro SD card records the video in MOV format, which a lot of uh, editing programs do not like to use. That is a big downfall. However, for those of you who do use this, what I have to do when I want to remove my footage and transfer it to my phone is I put this in my computer with my uh, micro SD card adapter. I copy the file to my computer, then I upload it to Google Drive and then I take my cell phone and I download it to my cell phone. And then I use PowerDirector for Android to make all of these videos that you see here. Every video that's on my channel has been made strictly with my cell phone. I don't use anything else. I paid $6 for PowerDirector and it's an amazing little editing program. It also is able to uh, do some really strange files from uh, China like MOV files instead of MP4 files. I don't know why they would use MOV format. It is what it is It's an overseas quad. It's from China. They have different formats that they use You just kind of have to deal with that. But if you were looking for a good editing program, I got to tell you right now Power director for Android is excellent. I would suggest buying it for the six dollars so you can uh, um, edit HD co uh, quality videos with it um, it works great. It's a very good little program and it makes uh, editing very simple for my YouTube channel. So, another con, better pictures, man. I took a lot of pictures with this and not one of them was over a megabyte and they look blurred. The video capability is way more advanced than the picture capability with this. I don't know why that would be. I would think it would still take the same 
um, quality pictures as it would video, but apparently it doesn't. The pictures are not quite as high resolution as the camera when you're recording. Don't know why, that's kind of a big downfall. I would like to see that happen uh, maybe with a different format. I don't know, I think they came in as JPEG, which I don't even know anybody that uses JPEG anymore since like 1997. But it is what it is. It's still using JPEG imagery. I don't understand that. It is what it is, I guess, right? Hubson, if you're listening, fix that issue. Um, and the last one I have here is uh, the barometer. The barometer on this quad is just not wonderful. There's a bunch of air vents on the bottom, if you guys can see those. And unfortunately, when wind blows up in there, it causes this thing, even though it'll stay in its GPS lock, it still causes the altitude to fluctuate quite a bit, which is really kind of an annoyance. I don't, I'm not happy about that at all. So, um, it's not a huge, huge deal breaker, but you know, it's, it's something that could really be worked on better. Um, it would make me a lot happier if that was the case. <laughs> so, it is what it is. Um, all right, well, guys, that's kind of my list here. Uh, I can definitely tell you that the pros outweigh the cons, um, hands down by far. Uh, this is great for your average user, your hobbyist, your even even commercial pilots might like something like this. Um, it's very simple. A baby could fly this if they follow the directions and learn how to fly, or they have a good teacher, or they go on YouTube and they study some videos to figure out how to fly. Boom. Um, I have really nothing horrible to say about it. I know that there's some things they could work on that would make this a much better quad. But, you know, at the price range, guys, of $227 to $250, I have to say, I'm impressed. For being a Chinese quad, it screams quality, and it is just, so far, it's been pretty flawless with most of its uh, um, abilities. So, you know, I do have my, my cons list of things I would like to see Hubson correct or change. But it doesn't make me make it a deal breaker. It's it's something I still am comfortable with. I have complete, complete confidence in the GPS on this quad since it's been uh, updated, um, and it came updated. I didn't have to do any version updates, any anything like that. All I've had to do so far was my annoyance with the batteries. But as you can see, it's still full batteries, guys. It's been on this whole time, and it hasn't even, even like, you know, this is this has been on five flights now, six flights, and it still has a full battery. So, I only had to charge this once since I've been using it for all this flight stuff. Can't be mad. Works perfect. Um, so, just to give you an idea, guys, this is my pros. I've got a whole list here and a whole list here, and, and you know, for my cons, I only had a slight few. Um, very simple stuff, so is it a good quad for the average user? Would I suggest people buy this? I will say this, it's unfortunate if you get an older model that they've been trying to just get off of because then you have to update the firmware yourself and you have to perform a, a, a battery modification yourself. Um, you'll have to install a JST connector with a voltage regulator, which is unfortunate. Um, but if you don't want to blow the board out or overheat it for whatever reason, you want to make sure to have a voltage regulator in there. Um, but the quad itself should come pretty standard. The only thing you might have problems with with an older version of this is the uh, GPS stabilization. Um, a firmware update normally fixes any kind of small problems like that it would have. Um, but yeah, guys, if you want the uh, FPV watch, the G-Tang FPV watch, um, I would say this is almost a recommendation completely from me if you purchase this for follow me mode. This is amazing for follow me mode. Or if you have a girlfriend and you don't want her hovering over your shoulder or a friend and they want to watch the flight, you know, you can just have this for $31 and, you know, oh man, that was awesome. You know, they can watch everything you're doing. Tell you to go look in a certain direction without like hovering over your shoulder while you're trying to pay attention to the controller. Yeah, all good things. But anyways, guys, we are pushing 25 minutes now. I wanted to make sure that I went over everything in, in, in detail with you guys to, you know, give you a better idea, a better understanding of this quad and what I think. So pros and cons, definitely pros outweigh the cons by far. 
Um, it's definitely a good quad. I think a lot of you will be happy with it. And uh, I know I am, so I'm going to keep flying and um, I'm going to keep my eye out and look for other quads that I might find interesting that I either purchase or, you know, maybe Banggood or Gearbest will want to step out of the way and send me some free products for testing. I know Flying Ryan's really eating a lot of my juice right now and so are the RC Sailors, but uh, I'm back, man. I'm here to stay. So, anyways, guys, if this video helped you make your purchase or divert your attention from this quad, let me know in the comments section, and uh, once again, if this helped you make a decision, guys, please like, subscribe, comment, talk to me, you know, show some support for my channel. I don't make these videos for me. I make it for you guys so you guys have a better understanding. So, this is Drone Worship. I'm going to bed, man. It's like 1 in the morning at this point. I'm out. Toodaloo. Give yourself to the dark side.